This is 21st Century Reformation at 21stcr.org. Chapter 2. For I want you to know how great a struggle I have for you, and for those at Laodicea, and for those who have not seen me face to face, that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, to reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding and knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Still talking about that wisdom and knowledge, isn't he? Uh, that yes. we were talking about back in verses yes. 9 and 10 and 11 of the first yes. uh, chapter. That awful thing that disparages this cold doctrine. You know. <laughs> but it's everything here. Well, it's, it's, it's a start. Yeah, you don't do the Christian living without the correct understanding of mm-hmm. wisdom and knowledge. That's I like that observation. You, you mentioned that yes. uh, about how that Paul very uh, yeah. carefully sets in place the, the fundamental issues of faith That's and right. uh, the fundamental issues yeah. of God and Christ and, right. and this hope and salvation. Uh, he tends to do that before oh, he gets oh, into the always. Christian living. You know, He's smart and, enough uh, to know that's how it works. Yes. But Jesus, after all, had defined God before <laughs> yeah. he said, now you're to love that God. Yeah, well, that's right. We need to know who, yes. who that God is that you're supposed I mean, who, to love. Who would that's imagine right. doing away with the loving your neighbor and loving God's stuff? <laughs> that's right. Nobody. That's right. But who would imagine getting away with the Lord our God as one Lord, <laughs> the Jewish Unitarian Creed right. of Jesus? That's right. That is gone by the board. Wow. That apparently doesn't matter. Yeah. You that's know, horrible. Um, uh, when you think about it, then Jesus, when he's laying those things mm. out in Same Mark thing. twelve, mm. uh, Mark twelve twenty nine, and on on, uh, he's he's setting in place first the issues of who God of is, yes. and that you're to love Him and be uh, and adhere to Him, hold to Him, mm-hmm. and then he gets to love your neighbor. Yes. In a way, Paul's following that same oh, pattern, totally. isn't he? No, I think they all in are. his in his yes. writings. He's he's following yes. that. So let's set in mind who is who is God. Let's get that right. That's right. And now we understand that Jesus That's is right. the Christ yes. of God. He's not God, but he's the Christ exactly. of God. So we put that in place. Well, Luke does the and, same and thing. And then we go on. Yeah, yes. they all they're masters. These people see are masters of the trade, yes, and yes. we are not. Yes. They are masters of the trade. Look at Luke two eleven. Today is born in the city of Bethlehem the one who is the Lord Messiah. Yes. Yes. And then a few verses later in two twenty six two twenty six says this is the Lord's Messiah. <laughs> the Lord's I get it. Messiah. Okay, That's you've right. got a Lord God and you've got a Lord Messiah. That's right. It's in the model of That's those right. two characters right. that were and and there's only problem. one who is the Lord. Lord God. God. And there's only one, one who's the Lord, Lord, Messiah. Lord Messiah. That's right. And then which is the God. Ephesians 4 verses 5 and 6 right. on, on exactly. the money. Exactly. One Lord and one God. One, but one don't Lord. muddle them up. That's don't right. expand the shaman. That's right. Yeah. Uh, this is the ultimate yeah. stupidity of us Gentiles, I yeah. think. <laughs> I think these writers who are, again are masters of their trade yes, yes. would be so shocked. They'd say, sit down gentlemen. Mm. Let me give you a basic lesson yeah. in how many people are God. That's yeah. one. That's the Father. 1,300 yeah. times That's right. in the New Testament. It's overwhelming. Isn't it? It's just it's clear. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Verse 3, uh, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, uh, again, mm. I say this, verse 4, in order that no one may delude you ah. with plausible arguments, <laughs> for though I'm absent in body, yet I'm with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order yeah. And the firmness of your faith in Christ. Yes. Wow. Isn't that fascinating? So now he's against the deluding influence of Satan. Wow. And notice it's not just in your ethics. It's not yeah. somebody's coming along saying you can all commit adultery yeah. and that's fine. That's right. But a much more subtle thing. Somebody can get you confused about who God is and oh, who yes. Jesus is yes. and the gospel. I, I love this word plausible. Yes. But they're going to bring you these plausible yes. arguments. Yes. That, it, you know, the entire... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Gentile Christian yes. doctrine of the Trinity yes. is built on plausibility. plausibility. Well, you know, isn't this possible? Yes. Couldn't God be yes. two or three or exactly. half a dozen persons? Yes. Couldn't God be? You couldn't yes. cry. You get in all this supposedly plausible stuff. Very plausible. And, uh, right. But you don't want to get caught away with what's plausible. You no. want to get uh, caught yes. into and yes. hold to what yes. is the reality. Not what's yes. plausible, what could be, yes. but what is. Yes. And I think. Uh, uh, when you begin to look at it from that perspective, it's not really uh, reasonable to say, oh, it's plausible that God could be two or three persons when Paul mm. knows nothing about a two or three person God. That's exactly right. You know, it makes no sense. It makes a sense. And that, that really strikes me as interesting what you said there because 
the prodigious efforts that have been used to turn the word one into more than one <laughs> yes. must rank in the history of human thought as some of the most miraculous, <laughs> miraculous pieces of, of subterfuge. <laughs> yeah. Echad, we have to say, one means one. Yes, yes. Oh, wait a minute, one flesh, you see, you've got a couple there, you've got a husband and a wife, <laughs> yes, so yes. doesn't one really mean two? <laughs> yes. Clever, plausible, but highly misleading. Yes. One still means one, it's yes. not two fleshes. Mm -hmm. One is not yes. plural. One is like the English numeral. Mm -hmm. You go into a dollar store, Dan, and you say, yeah. uh, you walk back here and you say, this item is marked as one. Oh, well, that's compound one, $13. Thank you <laughs> yes. very much. Yes. We've entered into the, into the area of madness here. Mm -hmm. We must insist on this. God is one. East is one. God is one person in the New Testament. That's what the Greek actually says. I think a, a, a good uh, thought... Uh, mm -hmm. a word of advice for all uh, serious Bible students and everybody who wants to read their Bible with understanding is to recognize that if someone says something is plausible yes. or possible, yes. they've not yet proven that it it's is. True. Right. So it, it's plausible that yeah. God is 12 people, but is yeah. that really right. the way it is? It's plausible that God is two or three or four or mm -hmm. five people, mm -hmm. but is that the way it is? God is one, yes. really one. Yes. And uh, that's the reality. That's right. So when you go off after plausibilities, right. you're wandering down a little, uh, a little trail I mean, that leads yeah. you to we don't know where. Even if the <laughs> person telling you has a PhD. Yeah, see, it doesn't matter. That's what makes it right. more difficult. That's right. So, you know, people say, well, you know, what do we do then? <laughs> well, the answer is you stay with the great commentaries mm. and the great lexicons. Yeah. So people, in, if they don't have a knowledge of Hebrew, borrow a rabbi. <laughs> Take yeah. your Brown, Driver, and Briggs Hebrew yeah. lexicon and four or five others of the same quality. Mm -hmm. Look up the word one and see if it ever says anything about plural one or <laughs> yeah. one being compound this one. It doesn't say anything. You're right. telling me those dictionaries missed that extraordinary <laughs> thing? <laughs> That's right. If you get it from a PhD who claims to have knowledge of these things, watch out. That's right. Because it's not supported by the dictionaries it's or indeed not. common That's sense. Right. Yeah. And, never, well, and I like your thought about common sense. Mm -hmm. uh, never overlook the value of just sitting down and and reading Paul, yes. uh, I think sometimes people will, uh, will we read uh, so many other books, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, other books sometimes have value. Uh, you write books, I'm writing a book. Mm -hmm. uh, we do commentaries. This is wonderful. That's right. But did you ever realize that you can sit down and you can read the book of Colossians for yourself that's and right. just ask yourself mm -hmm. the simple question? Yes. And, and just let Paul mm -hmm. speak to you. Yes. It's not that hard. That's right. He's not going to speak to you about three persons being no, God no. or two persons Isn't being God. Amazing. He's not going to talk no, to no. you about a dual nature in Christ. He's not going to talk to you about those things. Yes. Those are all post-biblical yes. uh, developments that had nothing to do with the Bible itself. Right. Isn't that interesting? It is interesting. The problem there for the public is that their revered pastor you see, mm. has been to school. Mm. Uh, you're not telling me he doesn't know. Uh, and my answer to that is, go to the lexicons. These people <laughs> yeah. who specialize in language, right. they're not all flaming liberals right. and therefore wrong by being a liberal. That's right. Because people who do dictionaries are very smart people with yes. words. Go sure. to all the Hebrew and Greek sure. lexicons and That's see right. if you can find the word one defined right. as more right. than one. You won't find it. Yes. Yes. That should raise your suspicions right. at least. Yes. If you see someone trying to define one as three mm. Mm. Uh, in any book, you know that that's uh, really a little bit of hocus pocus, isn't it? I mean, isn't that a little bit of we're doing a little magical act here? One really means three. Oh, okay. Well, then what, what does four mean then? We wonder what that would be. You know, what is, does that mean eight or ten? I don't know. Well, tell your, ask your child when Jesus says, you, Father, are the only one who is true God. Omonis alithinos theos, that's what the Greek says. Yeah. Try that on your child, and this yes. is the only toy you can play with now. Yeah. Well, of course, I really mean there are three others or two others you can, that play, you can with. play with. <laughs> See, language has lost its bite now. We're yeah. now interfering with the very currency that keeps our sanity. Absolutely. The dime is still, I believe, ten cents. Is yeah. it <laughs> Last I heard. And unless right. I have decided it's five cents. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these are very fundamental yep. things that our children, it's, it's, for very good reason in Deuteronomy, God says, sit down with your children and talk about these That's things right. morning, evening, and night. Right. Get up in the morning and talk about Echad That's right. and, and describe who God is, right? right? Otherwise, we're not going to make it That's right. against this plausible mm -hmm. argument. Plausible doesn't mean it's real, no. and that's where we have to get uh, yeah. But people say, "Well, I guess that could be," yes. and then somebody says, "Well, and yes. it is." Yes. And so all of a sudden, we're down this mm -hmm. this pathway that uh, you can get lost on that pathway and miss mm 
That's right. uh, all the glory, yes. power, and yes. this what uh, Paul is referring to here as yes. the wisdom and knowledge, That's treasures right. of wisdom and treasures knowledge. Treasures, all God. of which are in Christ, who wow. recites the Shema, yes. and that proves that he is a good Jew as regards <laughs> right. the definition yes. of God. Mm -hmm. We need to get that out to the public. Uh, absolutely. Uh, verse 4. Mm -hmm. I say this in order that no one may delude you with plausible oh, arguments. Delude. There we go. Yeah. Delude. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> For though I am absent in body, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the firmness of your faith in Christ. Yes. Verse 6. Therefore, as you received Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. Yes, that's nice. Well, I like that Paul often speaks about mm. this thanksgiving, always praying important. with thanksgiving, yes. abounding in thanksgiving. That is important. That. Isn't it? Yes. Well, because this, what, confirms, strengthens your relationship with God, you're mm. thankful to somebody, mm -hmm. you're indebted to them. Yeah. Th this binds you. We don't consider it a, a very thoughtful thing. Yeah. If someone uh, does uh, some uh, good for you or mm. gives you some gift mm. that you would not be appreciative of that. And That's right. We teach, try to teach our children That's at right. an early age. Indeed. Well, we yes. Now tell them that you appreciate yes. it. Yes. Well, that's just fundamental, isn't it? We should, it is. And if we're going to appreciate anything, we should certainly appreciate exactly the gifts right. of God and His work yes. uh, in us. Yes. So I like that mm -hmm. one. Verse 8. Mm -hmm. See to it that no one takes you captive oh. by philosophy and ah. empty deceit. Ah. According to human tradition, mm -hmm. according to the elemental spirits of the world, mm -hmm. and not according to Christ. Wow. Wow. For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily. Yes. Verse 10, and you have been filled in him who is the head of all rule and authority. Yes. Verse 11, in him also you were circumcised with a circumcision made without hands by putting off the body of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. 12, having been buried with him in baptism in which you were also raised with him through faith in the powerful working of God who raised him from the dead. Verse 13, and you who were dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made alive together with him, having forgiven us all trespasses. 14, by canceling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands. This he set aside, nailing it to the cross. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. Yes. Wow. Again, you have that, don't let anybody take you captive through philosophy. That should mm. be a warning, since we know that the creedal developments post-biblical were heavily reliant upon mm. Greek philosophical concept. Everybody knows that. You'd think that would be a, a, a fierce warning sign here. Watch out for philosophy, which is demonic. Yes, the, yes. the elemental spirits would be a reference to the demonic world that's very deceptive. And then nine, in Christ, all the fullness of deity dwells. What is not quoted is Ephesians 3.19, mm. parallel mm. to this which says the same thing are Christians, that we are to be filled up with all the fullness of God. Yes, that doesn't yes. make us God. Of course. Of course we know that God was in Christ that's uniquely. Right. That's absolutely clear. But absolutely. God was Christ is a different thing. Uh, no, entirely Making different. two gods entirely different. Yeah. So 319 of Ephesians comes in to balance that otherwise twistable yes. statement in 2.9 yeah. of Colossians. Well, 2.9, and I know that was a, um, a really uh, critical Mm. verse to me in my background mm -hmm. uh, because I thought in my mind and, and so did my friends we, we thought that meant you, that if all fullness of God dwells in yes. Christ yes. therefore Christ is God yes. but then there is this uh, uh, pesky problem yes. <laughs> with uh, as you say in, in Ephesians 3.19 mm. where that the fullness of God is to dwell in all Absolutely. the people uh, I think uh, yeah. uh, clearly as we begin to understand it in uh, the first chapter, verse 17, what we've got is this fullness of God mm -hmm. in Christ. Mm -hmm. Now we're seeing the fullness of God is dwelling in Him, yes. in His person. Mm -hmm. Always. And, uh, but the fullness of God that dwells, it's not about a, a spatial matter, I think. It's not about God taking up space. It's about what God has in His plan, His work, 
in his work for his people, in his work for nice. uh, humanity, the kingdom of God. Everything's in Christ. Yes. We don't go somewhere else to find right. it. That's right. Uh, the, uh, even uh, even to Moses, mm-hmm. it's all in Jesus Christ. Every, he was the one it was all about from the beginning. Yes. And yes. he is the beginning of the new creation, yes. so that's wonderful. So all God's program, all God's work, all yeah. God's plan yeah. is in him. And then, as he's going to say there in verse uh, 10, then we are complete, we are filled right. in him. That's We're in need. Christ, so... Everything's in Him, and now we have everything we need when we're That's in right. Him. We're filled. We're full That's right. in Him. That's the Holy Spirit word. Fullness is the yeah, Spirit like of God. It's yes. Fully in, uniquely in Christ. He had a greater yeah. measure of Spirit than we do, but we're yeah. supposed to be somewhere near, and we're becoming maturer, hopefully, so that we yes. can measure up to the fullness of God in us. That's right. But that verse gets no publicity at all. <laughs> yes, that's right. And this one does. That's right. So, we're engaging, I think, in a very dishonest way of dealing with Scripture. We're, yeah. we're picking one well, or two verses yeah, that's right. and ignoring 500. Right. It's unfair to uh, to take verse 9 out that's and uh, divorce it from its yeah. larger context of Paul's writings about the fullness Absolutely. of God yes. and then give it a significance yes. that obviously Paul uh, right. doesn't have in mind. That's right. Uh, yeah. So I, I like this... Uh, mm. Much better than the way I used to think about that. Uh, it, this works Simplifies much better. Lot, this this does uh, does yeah. well. And now I, I look mm. at it and I say, okay, uh, whether it's Moses or it's someone else, the fullness of God is actually in Christ Jesus. And everything God has for me, I can find yeah. in him. That's why we're the disciples of yeah. Jesus Christ. Supposed to be. Uh, Absolutely, we must be. Yes. Right. And then Paul's Creed in First Timothy two five sums it up so easily. I think, oh, my yes. goodness, everybody just believed that we yes. could get on with life and yes. not argue about anything. Yes. There's one God, yes. i.e., the Father, yes. Yes. and one again, another one yes. mediator, yes. the man, the man, the man, Messiah Jesus. Yes. Why didn't he bother saying the God Man? <laughs> yes, I mean, uh, it's just right. incredible yes. to me that Paul could be so bad yes. with his definition. Right. Well, you know, and and that shows again how badly our traditions yes. work, we will actually yeah. come up with things totally out of sync mm. with what the Bible itself said. Here we say and there is one mediator between mm. God and men, and, the man. and he's going to clearly, he goes out of his way right. to make it clear, the, the man, man, not the God, right. not the God-man, right. but the man, Christ yes. Jesus, is our mediator. And yet I've had friends of mine tell me, oh, but he had to be a God-man yes. to be the mediator. Yes, yes. That's not yes, what yes. Paul said. No. Don't mess with right. the simplicity of the scriptures right. the and man. the beauty of it. And then remember the creed says he's man, but not a man. Well, <laughs> Paul said he's oh the life. man, Messiah. He didn't say he's man, Messiah. <laughs> he no, is, he's the he man, is the man, Messiah. It isn't right. a problem in these lucid writers. Yes, yes. And we don't want to create, we've got enough problems in the world without creating <laughs> theological nightmares. That's right. That's right. That are so confusing and so cruel, may I say, yeah. because people get kicked out of whole groups for challenging well, that's right. these post-biblical creeds. Mm-hmm. That's, right. that's not good sense. Mm-hmm. I like this, uh, this, these comments too that Paul goes on to make about uh, the circumcision, which he said, we're, we have a circumcision in Christ, of course. but not the one that kind, ah, the word made with hands. Uh, where Paul uh, Paul has, mm-hmm. has counseled us. Remember in Galatians five yes. and on other uh, and yes, other places, he, yes. he counseled us yes. that circumcision yes. uh, is to no avail in Christ. And uh, isn't and, that radical? Uh, yeah. I, I like yes. I like that a lot. And, and he counseled if you're if you're come to Christ being uncircumcised, yes. don't seek to be circumcised. For goodness' sake, goodness that would be going right. the wrong path. That that's would right. be going the wrong direction. So, so it's in the spirit and not in the letter. That's that famous Romans seven six, which oh, solves yes. that whole thing. Yes. Newness of the spirit, not in the oldness of the letter. We're I getting into that. that section yes, right yes, now. Yes. If that distinction were understood, we'd have less fight about: Do we have to wear prayer tassels? <laughs> yes, yes. Are we keeping the yes. new moons, etc., yes. etc.? Et which yeah. troubles the church yes. today yeah. beyond measure, yeah. quite unnecessarily. Yeah. If we took That's right. note of, of what you just mentioned mm-hmm. here. Spiritual circumcision, not made with hands, yeah. not in the letter. That's not what counts. We don't, we don't want that. We're not getting into yeah. that. And no. Paul is warning uh, the people: yeah. if you're going to try to be circumcised, you've got to do the whole law. For goodness' sakes, don't don't Isn't go that, that route. Amazing. What are you talking about? And it would be just the devil's cleverness to say, "Listen, the Bible says you all need to be physically circumcised." It yeah. does <laughs> in Genesis 17, right? But it doesn't in Colossians. That is exactly in the right. New covenant. Yeah. 
in this new covenant of Messiah, yes. it's a different picture. It's a, it's a wonderful different picture. Yes. I like this too. He carries right out of this circumcision of Christ, mm-hmm. uh, a circumcision of, having been buried with him in baptism. Mm-hmm. I think that's rather straightforward too, isn't it? it is. he, he's saying very clearly, in which you are, in that baptism, you were also mm-hmm. raised with him mm-hmm. through faith and the power, uh, powerful working of God who raised him from the dead. So it's not like the being immersed with him in death mm-hmm. and the resurrection are sort of two different events. He's saying that this baptism, yeah. you are buried with him yeah. in that, yeah. in which at that same in that yeah. same circumstance you're raised cool. with him. Isn't that a that's that's right? Not a literal resurrection, a metaphorical resurrection, of course. certainly. That's right. But nevertheless, you're doing all of that with Christ. That's right. Following in His mind, and and apparently that means a great deal to God. Yeah. And the yeah. circumcision of the flesh is not what God is seeking for people. He's that's seeking right. this this baptism yes. in which we're immersed yes. into right. Christ and yes. raised with Him. So to argue yeah. about water baptism is really the ultimate in futility, it yes. seems to me. But do you have to be baptized in water? Yes, of course. Why? Because it says so. It says so quite a number of times, in fact. I, I love this notion that to be a son in New Testament yeah. times means, first of all, you obey what the dad says. Right. You do what he says. Yeah. Second, you learn the trade with right. Dad. You watch Dad learn exactly. the trade, and you learn the trade. Of course. Thirdly, you go out and you go out and represent your That's Father. Right. Isn't that beautiful? That's, right. That's exactly what Jesus That's was right. doing. But to say, do we have to be baptized, is to question a hundred verses Absolutely. of Make clear sense. commands. Right. If someone comes to you and they're, they're counseling you that you don't need to be baptized or you shouldn't be baptized, yes. That's right. I think you need to not only question that that. Oh, statement. Yes. You need to also say, well, wait a minute. Mm. This person can't get this right. How much right. else That's should right. we take into That's consideration right. here that, that they're saying? That's Maybe the they are uh, are not on track with other things as well. There's and an many agenda. times they're not. That's exactly it's, right. It's an agenda, not a it's, deeper agenda right. word, that I don't really like the words of Christ. That's right. Unless you fall in love with Christ through and his words, yes, yes. you're missing, I'm afraid, the whole point of exactly. the Exactly, exactly. But I like that a lot. So then uh, this powerful working of God who raised him from the dead, yeah. we, uh, we in, in, in baptism, in yeah. which yeah. we also are raised with him. Right. Uh, so I like that a lot. Yes. And you uh, who were dead mm. in your trespasses mm. and the uncircumcision of your flesh, that, that being Gentiles of yes. the flesh, yes. is that God made alive together with him. Mm-hmm. having forgiven mm-hmm. us our trespasses. Very so nice. it looks to me like he's going back to the beginning of your Christian journey Absolutely. here. And as Gentiles, Absolutely. they had not been uh, circumcised yes. in the flesh. Paul didn't want them to go yeah. that route by any means. Not God didn't want them to. But right. he says, you know, but in baptism, you were buried with Christ, so you're dead now. That's right. If you're dead, as we learned in, in uh, Romans 7, uh, the man who is uh, dead is no longer uh, subject to the law. That's right. It has no effect right. over him. Exactly. Which is demonstrated by the fact that his yeah. his widow is free yeah. to remarry. That That's shows exactly. that it's Isn't broken. It yeah. Paul uses all sorts of parallels oh, to make this and point. Excellent clear, stuff. Which is yeah. very radical, but very essential. Now we're getting to more of the same when you get to 16, right? Yeah. What is the result of all this? By canceling the record yeah. of debt mm-hmm. that stood against us with its legal demands, mm-hmm. this he set aside, nailing it to the cross. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them wow. in it. Yeah, like Powerful that. stuff yeah. and, and, and very controversial, I think unnecessarily today. It's yeah. become controversial. We always keep in mind the 2.14 of Ephesians parallel. Yes. He himself is our peace who made of both Jew and Gentile groups into one, broke down the barrier of the dividing wall, and this and some people think horrifying. They reject Paul out of hand say, and say that Paul must be a false prophet because in verse 15 of Ephesians 2, he says, by abolishing in himself, in his flesh, mm-hmm. the enmity, which is the law, the Torah, yes. of commandments yes. in ordinances. Yes. Now, Paul is not saying that we've abolished the law of love of your neighbor. That's mm-hmm. silly. It's those things that have dividing the Jew from mm-hmm. the Gentile, mm-hmm. Sabbath keeping, holy day keeping, new moons, All castles, yes. uh, food laws, of, of course, too. That's the thing that's gone out of the and, way. And that's the circumcision nonsense. itself. And if, and doesn't that just, isn't that the crux yeah, then? It's crux. Uh, absolutely. Uh, wow. If, if, if right. Jesus Christ yeah. has abolished the need yeah. Yeah. for circumcision, yes. uh, then... Uh, 
then we know that we've advanced now into the uh, Torah of Messiah. Absolutely. We're there. Great it's phrase. Now we know. Exactly. We've got to. This is hard for some yeah. people. I know. But, and, uh, and but we've got to grow, right. don't we? we I think as people, yes. we need to begin to grow and begin to realize uh, that we, uh, we're under a covenant, yes. an arrangement that was uh, actually dedicated by the blood of Jesus Christ. This is the new right. covenant, the new testament in my blood. Oh, absolutely. Uh, that's very it's different used. from uh, the one that Moses Very wrote. different. Much and, better. Uh, Yes. Equally bad is the idea that the new covenant has not yet been inaugurated, but will be inaugurated for the first time ever in the future with Jews. That doesn't work at all. No. That doesn't work. No. Paul says, I, Paul, am a minister of the new covenant, that's which, right. by the way, has started. Oh, right. And it that's started right. when that's Jesus right. ratified it with that's his right. blood. And if you miss that, you're missing, right. you're cutting the nerve of the whole no. New Testament. That, no. I'm, I'm amazed at these mistakes. Yeah. Oh, my How could yes. people read Paul and think we're not under the new covenant? For goodness sake. ridiculous. Well, and all you have to do is spend a little time reading in uh, Hebrews 7, 8, yeah, 9, 10, any of that. <laughs> you know, you, you, you right. just begin yes. reading and, it's, and it just speaks right. to you immediately. Yes. Of course we're in the new covenant. Of course. Uh, one that was dedicated by the blood of Jesus Christ. Indeed. Not with the blood of bulls and goats, no. but blood, dedicated with the blood right. of Jesus Christ. And as I said before, yes. do we really want to mix the that that was dedicated by the blood of bulls and goats with that that is now dedicated by the blood of the Son of God? It's at our peril that we mix these two I things. I think it should not be done. Going on. Exactly. Be done. And that's what the writer of Hebrews is cautioning. Yes. And, oh, and Paul as well. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful stuff. I like the text that you quoted there, alluded to in Galatians. If you're going to get circumcised, mm. if, don't do it, but if you're going to do it, then you're going to have to be obliged to keep the whole law. And I want to know what whole law is Paul saying don't keep? Define that for me, right. please. And, then, and th that you would not be obliged to keep that. You don't, yes. Right. The whole point is there right. is some law here That's right. which don't keep. And That's of course right. he's alluding to food laws, the Sabbath, the Holy Days, numerous Surely. as we're getting to Absolutely. immediately here. Absolutely. Which are shadows for goodness sake. Yep. They're divisive. Yep. We don't want any more divisions. We've we don't need problems That's right. already. That's right. Wow. Verse 16 uh, brings that, I think, mm. to bear at mm. what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Therefore, let no one pass judgment on you in questions of food and drink, yes. or with regard to a festival or a new yes. moon or a Sabbath. Mm -hmm. These are a shadow of the things to come, mm -hmm. but the substance belongs to Christ. Absolutely. Let no one disqualify you. Mm -hmm. insisting on asceticism and worship mm -hmm. of angels, mm -hmm. going on in detail about visions, mm -hmm. puffed up without reason mm -hmm. by his sensuous mind, and, verse 19, not holding fast to the head, mm -hmm. from whom the whole body, nourished and knit together through its joints and ligaments, grows with a growth that is from God. God. Uh, I love this a lot. So here we are then. Uh, this is that shadow that you uh, yes. talked a lot about. and. Uh, the, th the three things together are a shadow. He says that clearly. Mm. There are two categories. There's eating and drinking. Or, in annual holidays, mm -hmm. monthly new moons, and weekly Sabbath, the trio is a single shadow. Mm -hmm. So it's absurd to say, well, we're going to stick with the weekly Sabbath, but not the other one. <laughs> yes. We're going to do the new moons, but we don't care about the other one. Right. We're going to do the holidays, and all the new moons, and all the weekly Sabbath. All of that fails because this is a single idea. Now, mm. there's another trick argument used here. Paul says, uh, they are shadows of things to come. Ah, you see, shadows of things still to come in the future. Mm -hmm. Therefore, very important today. Mm -hmm. What they don't observe there is in Romans 14, Paul says that Adam is a shadow of the one to come. Yes, yes. Properly translated, right. in our sense, was a shadow, right? Right, surely. So That's these right. things in themselves are and were always shadows. And he's talking about them being superseded by the body of Messiah who has come, yeah, who has been right. exalted. So, trick arguments right. out there. That's right. So we're, so we're really saying these were shadows of something that was to come. Of course. That's now right. it's come. That's right. The body, the, right. the reality of it yes. all, is Christ. That's right. And, uh, and I, I like yes. that. It's very important because if you're going to insist on the, on the verb tense in English there, then you're going to have to say Christ hasn't come. <laughs> yes. Because in Romans, who is to come? Well, we know Christ has come. Yeah, that's right. Right. People will use every trick argument to avoid the greater sense, That's right. the overall sense that is so important. Well, uh, you, uh, I think a person has to get a grip on the, uh, on the uh, context here. Mm -hmm. And when you're looking at verse 16 and you're looking at these things like yes. uh, the food issues, which yes. uh, 
uh, would relate, yes. I suppose, then to dietary restrictions. Well, absolutely, uh, yes. And, uh, yes. And you're talking about uh, right. uh, the festival or new moon, yes. and Sabbath thing. If you're, if you're talking about that, well, wait a minute. You say, well, you can't mess with those things. Wait a minute. Back up a minute. He just <laughs> told us a few verses earlier, yes. you don't have to have circumcision. Oh, wow. Is that so messing? Let's get a grip that's here. That's messing, isn't it? If, if, that's Goodness. right. If you're going to make yes. the distinction that yes. circumcision is not something that right. you would do, yeah. don't let somebody come along telling you yeah. you have to be circumcised. Yeah. This is inappropriate. Of course it is. So yeah. now we're coming down, and he's talking about some particulars of the law that obviously... Yes. No, don't let somebody come along telling you you have to do those things. Uh, and uh, that, that uh, don't let them bring judgment against you in these things. But if not circumcision, for goodness sakes, then certainly not right. these things. You know. That's right. Romans 14, uh, I say to people, can you imagine Paul saying, as he does in Romans 14, 14 and 20. That's yes, yes. Chapter 14, verses right. 14, 20. I'm convinced as a Christian and a Jew, he's a yes. Jew, I am totally convinced that nothing is cl unclean of itself unless exactly. you imagine it to be. That's right. Now, I, of course, I'm trying to uphold Leviticus 11 food laws. I mean, come <laughs> on. There is a limit to common sense. And then in verse 20, he says, all things are kathara. That's exactly the opposite word of akathartos, which are the listed things you right. mustn't eat. Yes. I mean, there must be an element of common yes. sense here. He's, he's talking specifically about dietary restrictions under Spec the law. Expressing. And he's saying nothing is unclean That's of itself. Right. This, wow. We've come to a new era yeah. in this yeah. uh, era and time of Messiah. All of Very those clear. things, they were all, yeah. uh, all of this was uh, shadow, if you right. will. Of Christ, yes. the, kind of help help yeah, us getting amazing. a picture of the coming of Christ. But once he's here, he tells us uh, through Paul yes. here that uh, no, don't don't pursue don't pursue circumcision. Absolutely. No, we're not going to go that way. Uh, we yes. have something much better: a yes. circumcision of the heart, yes. uh, not one made in the flesh. And uh, and then he's going to say, and oh, in Christ Jesus, stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made you free. The uh, the Galatians five and one. And for goodness sakes, don't let anybody come around telling you, oh, you need to keep dietary restrictions. Yes. And uh, watch out about uh, the, the keeping the festivals and the new moons. This is not, a, this is not, oh my it's, goodness. It's just trouble. Oh, it's it is. It's divisive. Yes. Because now you've got to fight with somebody who's not keeping the new That's moons right. proper. That's right. And we've got enough trouble right. in life, I think, without that. Yeah. The other point is, look at the mass of verses and chapters which are needed mm. to clarify this radical issue. The whole book of Galatians Absolutely. is about this. 2 Corinthians 3 mm -hmm. is totally about mm -hmm. it. The Sinai mm -hmm. is now gone. <laughs> Heaven forbid the Ten Commandments are bondage <laughs> yes. in Galatians yes, 4. Right. No wonder some Jews find this very difficult. Yes. I, I sympathize with them. And then uh, the whole book of Hebrews. Look at the amount of scripture that was required to change radically our view of Torah from the Torah of Moses to the yeah. Torah of Messiah. I like your point uh, you were making recently about we've come, haven't we come far enough Yes. That we could make some yes. headway in these matters. So, right. You know, we have these That's writings right. now. We have these these matters. That's We've right. got Mark saying, uh, uh, "By this, he, he yes. declared all foods Mark, clean." Uh, seven you know, nineteen. Yeah, yeah, and can't we recognize yeah. uh, Paul's writings and the writings of those who were closer to Christ yeah. than anyone dare claim to be today? It's true. And yet, they're That's teaching true. us true. Uh, that these things are to no yes. avail, and do not pursue them. Right. Don't go that way. Paul said, you know, for those of you who are not circumcised, don't go that way. Don't seek to be circumcised. Can't we hear the wisdom in these things? Yeah. You know. No, I, I, I emphasize your point here because we are now at nearly 2,000 years ahead. Yes, yes. And we have the sophistication of commentary <laughs> and helps, Bible helps of all sorts. Can we not see that the church has not been wrong? I mean, the mainstream <coughs> church yeah. has not been wrong, Absolutely. insisting that Sunday is an appropriate day to meet. It's not the Sabbath. We know that. It's, okay. it's an appropriate day, being Resurrection Day. No. Can we not understand that the crucifixion was on a Friday? It certainly was. Absolutely. It's Wednesday, Saturday thing. All of this is esoteric stuff. Sure. Who it's some private Bible study sure. that comes up with something that derails what is already in place. <laughs> right. We don't need yeah, that. It is. Uh, terribly misguided to begin with, because yeah. if we go back and we read uh, much of that, if we go back and read the fourth commandment, yeah. where did you read anything about the fourth commandment, about this is your day of worship? And, 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 a good point. It's a day of rest. Yes, it was. It was never it's proclaimed to be a day of worship. And now and people are fighting, this must be the day you worship on. No, there's no, there is no scripture that tells you you must worship yeah. on any of the yeah. seven days of the week. You may worship That's on right. any day you choose. It yeah. was a day of rest. Absolutely. It was a day of rest, even yeah. in that regard. Even that so, regard. But uh, here, uh, and all of it right. was just about 
the coming of Christ. Yeah. When he gets here, he tells us, hey, why shouldn't every day be holy? Right. Why shouldn't every day yes. be uh, regarded as holy? And we, you yes. may worship as you will, but, yes. well, you know, Sunday's a fine day to worship. If, if Everybody's got that day uh, right. off anyway. Right. <laughs> it's, it's practical, I suppose. I love Jesus' uh, point in Matthew 12. Haven't you read, even in the Old Testament, he said, <laughs> yes. haven't you read that the priests are able to work on the Sabbath yes. and not be They've guilty not of anything? Broken. That's right. And I'm here standing, he says of himself, yeah. as a greater than yeah. the temple. So That's right. Take it easy, yeah. friends, right. because I have superseded yeah. some right. of those mosaic things. That's right. And he's, isn't he began to yeah. unfold for them that the, yeah. the mosaic picture was not perfect, not complete. That's right. it, wasn't complete. it did some good things, right. certainly. We, we're all for that. That's wonderful. Right. But it was all, as Paul tells us in Galatians 3, it was all about getting us to Christ, yes. getting us to That's faith. It was yes. a, a tutor to kind of help us exactly. to see. And, and see that. The, Paul is here describing right. it's it's tutorial work yes. as being shadow type stuff. I'm going to go back and to childhood you know, and be under the tutor. That's right. Of, no, that's Come that's on, let's sense. grow up now. Let's get this. That's right. Yeah, I like that. That's so now the rest is in Christ. The resting mm. that we as mm. Christians do mm. is much greater than this idea of, of, a, yes. of a Sabbath rest in that sense. Oh, that's right. But the resting right. we do is now in Christ. And that's exactly and it's come the to coming me. of the kingdom yes. of God. Oh, absolutely. And also now, come to me, all you who are struggling and yes. exhausted, yes. and I'll give you Sabbath right. every day. Every day. Oh, this, that's a bit that's of a right. bonus. Take my yoke cool. upon you. You're going to find that teaming up with right. me makes it easy. Yes. We're going to go yes. and, and you. Yeah, that's right. I love it. One, I like it a if, lot. If any of our listeners is in any doubt, I think a rereading of Galatians and Second Corinthians, oh, here, absolutely, a whole book of Hebrews, oh, with yes. much prayer and much yeah. searching for truth, absolutely, will convince them. Well, we worked our way through that in the uh, in our video commentaries yes. on Galatians yes. and Hebrews in particular, and Romans. A lot yeah. of good stuff. Oh, Paul was Andrew. dealing with this issue all the time, all the time. and he's very consistent right. about it. People uh, sometimes will That's turn right. his words and say, "Well, he really meant that you should be circumcised." No, he didn't. He just flat out said, "Don't do that." <laughs> How you know how much clearer can he be? Don't be circumcised. If you're not circumcised, don't, don't seek to there. be. Don't do that. And don't don't keep there. the whole law that goes with it. Whatever that, <laughs> right. I want that Whatever defined. That is. That's I, you know, right. I say to these people, tell me what is this yeah. whole law which yeah. you shouldn't keep? That's right. And again, uh, don't we as Christians have to decide whose disciples we are? I, I told oh, yeah. some folks one yes. time, I said, you're going to have to decide whose disciples yes. are. Are you Moses' disciples yes. or are you That's disciples right. of Jesus Christ? Right. And you say, well, I take both. Well, Paul mm. just said, you are complete in him. Mm. Mm. In this very passage, yes. Colossians 2 and 10. Yes. You're, you're made full. Every, all the fullness of God is not in Moses and Jesus. Yes. It's in Jesus. And we are made complete. Mm -hmm. We are filled with the fullness of God mm -hmm. in it's enough. Christ Jesus. It's sufficient. It's it. Yeah. You're, you're complete in him. I like that. The other point yeah. is that there are ten occurrences in the, old, uh, in the Old Testament, in the Hebrew Bible. There are ten passages where we find that trio of observances together. Mm -hmm. New moons, mm -hmm. holy days, and weekly Sabbath. That shows that when you think of the calendar, you think of it as a whole. Mm. So it's quite wrong for any group to say, well, I'm, I'm going to extract the weekly Sabbath because that's in the Ten Commandments. That's, that's right. Well, wait a minute. Who said the Ten Commandments was anything other than a summary of the whole law of Moses? Well, there you go. That's right. And in Deuteronomy 5, it says those laws were not given to our forefathers. That's so exactly there's nothing right. sacrosanct that's about right. the Ten Commandments as being not. the final word. Absolutely not. This isn't that hard when you see it, but if you're an amateur in Scripture a little bit, yeah. not really familiar, yeah. it's very easy to be taken right. into that. And uh, into to be misguided. I think so. uh, you uh, you've spoken uh, yeah. often about your own yeah. circumstances oh, yeah. and uh, unhappiness in, well, that's <laughs> in right. going through uh, that's well right. uh, put it this way in going through unhappy circumstances. It uh, was a learning experience looking yes. back on it. And in my case, uh, very easy to see that into the vacuum of my Church of England background, where yes. we didn't know anything about anything, <laughs> and I'm not blaming anybody. Maybe I wasn't listening, okay. but we didn't do the intensive Bible studies that you Americans typically do. Mm -hmm. Into that vacuum comes the stentorian voice of somebody telling me that Moses is ultimate. Well, I didn't know. Mm, mm, I was mm. nodding. Yeah. Now I see. But yes. it took a, a stage yeah. in my development, I think, in many, this is true of many others, to grow beyond that mm -hmm. into something which actually is richer and much better. Yeah. And it takes uh, great desire and courage in God. The courage to say those yeah. fearful words, I could be wrong. Oh, absolutely. But I think when you come to the place you're willing oh, yeah. to say, I could oh, yeah. be wrong, oh, yeah. 
now we are beginning to be of a mindset that God can work yeah. with and bring us from yeah, what we call the aha moment right? <laughs> yes, yes. which happens to people sometimes in the watchtower right. you know, they sit through years of the watchtower oh. and one day they say wait a minute I'm not sure that an invisible second coming in 1914 or that Jesus is Michael the archangel could that really be right? How can the high priest in Psalm 110 one be an angel? Yes, yes. Since high priests are chosen from among men. Yes, says, yes, oh, yes. I've seen that break the back of the watchtower. Uh, no, yes, yes. Very significant. Yeah, yeah. Many times good people. But, oh, no question. But very confused and yes. misled That's with right. regard to important right. matters. Uh, right. But uh, they're not alone in that. Uh, no, welcome no. to the club. Many people are confused yeah. in many matters. That's right. Uh, but we all, if we can come to that place... Yeah. Of, of being able to say with all gravity and sincerity, I could be wrong. That's right. It's time for me to begin to go back to the source right. and uh, and begin to say, what does Paul say about this? What does Peter right. say about it? Right. What and if any of our Jesus listeners want to challenge, you know, say, well, you're flat wrong on that point. Sure. Let them try. Oh, uh, absolutely. You know, sure. we, we, I think we've sure. sort of seen most of the arguments here, yeah. but you can always miss something. But that's right. We're always <laughs> willing to uh, to consider. That's right. Yes, oh, yes. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I was also noticing, Anthony, in verse 19, mm -hmm. uh, that Paul equates this matter mm -hmm. of getting back into the shadow mm -hmm. and yes. spending your life in the, in the in shadow, the shadow <laughs> so to speak. Uh, but Paul equates that with not holding fast, mm -hmm. that is, mm -hmm. strongly, firmly, mm -hmm. to the boss, to the head. That's right. To the head. From whom the whole body which we've been learning already in this uh, writing of Paul's, is, is the church, his people. Yes. The right. whole body is uh, nourished mm -hmm. and knit together th through its joints and ligaments, grows with a growth that is from God. Mm -hmm. So God is mm -hmm. causing his body to grow. But you're not holding to the head when you begin right. to go back to right. Moses. You're not That's holding right. to the head That's right. when you say, oh, well, we better pursue circumcision. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. if uh, even the sillier idea, well, we're not going to do circumcision, but we're going to do the law anyway. That's right. Well, if you're going to do oh, the law, you've got to be circumcised. You know, I mean, yeah. that's kind of a, right. a, uh, so a non-starter. Are you going to stone adulterers? <laughs> are you going to stone rebellious children? I mean, where do you well, stop well, with that's that? Right. That's that's a, right. That opens a can of worms, that one, doesn't it? But to me, it's, it's awesome that Paul equates that mindset. Yeah with not holding on to the head, Absolutely. who is, the head of the body is point. Christ. Is Jesus keeping the new moons? I'm, I'm not sure that uh, he's uh, terribly uh, sincerely on that. Uh, right that's now. exactly right. What he's doing, we're supposed to be doing in preparation. That's, that's right. That's right. right. Wow. Yeah, there's another point there in 16 that gets raised sometimes when you have, let the church judge you. They say, let no, let no man, that's King James, that's misleading, right. don't let anybody at all, whoever it is, mm -hmm. tell mm -hmm. in these areas. <laughs> But do let the Church of God tell you. <laughs> yes, yes. See, these are desperate arguments yes, to yes. save a failed cause. Yes, yes, It's yes. amazing. Common sense must, I think, prevail. I think so, too. And uh, the plain sense of this is, unless Paul is frightfully misleading, yeah, yes. uh, the plain sense is he's not advocating rigorous Sabbath-keeping, holy days, and new moons. Absolutely not. Verse 20. If with Christ mm. you die mm. to the elemental spirits of the world... Why, as though you were still alive to the world, do you submit to regulations? Yes. Like, yes. verse 21, do not handle, mm -hmm. do not taste, mm -hmm. do not touch. Mm -hmm. Referring to things that are all perishing as they uh, are being used. Yes. Wow. Do we really want to get hung up on all these okay. prohibitions? Uh, That's right. No. Uh, no. And he says, it's according to human precepts and teachings. Mm -hmm. These have indeed an appearance of wisdom mm -hmm. in promoting mm -hmm. self-made religion and mm -hmm. asceticism mm -hmm. and severity to the body, mm -hmm. but they are of no value in stopping the indulgence of the flesh. They don't, they, they don't help. Isn't that amazing? Even Jesus himself got criticized. You know, well, John the Baptist is an ascetic. You know, yeah. he, he's, a, he's a wacko. That's right. But Jesus out there drinking and eating That's in right. a normal Jewish manner, and he's criticized That's as right. a winder. I mean, <laughs> It, it, the devil is, is harsh. Yes, yes. Can we not find a balance here that models what Jesus That's did right. That's right. and not be at one extreme yeah. or the other? Because religion is so good at this sacramentalism. You know, if I could just yes. touch the right holy oh, wall, yes, yes, get the right holy That's water, right. That's make right. the right sign of the cross, pronounce the word Yahweh correctly, <laughs> yes, yes. then I'm in. That's right. That's what God really cares about. Mm. Uh, I like this, but again, uh, his beginning there in verse 20. It's a very powerful statement. If you are indeed dead 
with Christ. Yeah. If you have, yes. if if with Christ you die. Yes, die. That's yeah. very powerful. It is powerful. You're it dead. is the imagery of, of Romans 7 again. Very much. So. Yeah, the man who's dead, he's not under the law. That's right. He, he's not under it. Dead period. to the law. The law can have no, yeah. If you're dead, the yeah. law can have no right. effect on you. Right. A dead person is not moved and, by anything. And, and Paul's point is, we are dead yeah. in Christ, yes. though we live yet. And dead to uh, the law. In, yeah, and dead to the law. It is, it's powerful. Right. Actually, powerful, as you say that, it reminds me, it's as powerful a way as you can say it. I mean, yeah. death is dead. Mm -hmm. When you're dead, you're not being moved in any way by That's external right. things. That's right. That's, That's right. our situation with mm -hmm. these elements of the law, not the law, the law of love. Mm -hmm. Of course. Or loving your neighbor. Yeah. That's, That's right. not in question. Yeah. The law of adultery is not in question. We know that no, no uh, right. ongoing sinner yeah. in the terms of adultery and fornication can enter the kingdom. Forget That's right. that. That's, That's quite clear. Right. That's right. And so Hebrews 5.9, it still remains a key text that salvation is given to those who obey Jesus. There it is. The question is, right. what does obeying Jesus That's right. mean? That's right. There's where you go That's carefully right. and read Paul, That's right. who of reflects course. Jesus, and That's read right. Jesus, as you mentioned, Mark 7.19, yes. about the food laws. Wow. Yes. So it comes quite clear then, doesn't it? I, I think, think it yeah, does, it but it's so modern yeah, in the sense yeah. that it hits all the prevailing issues and problems that we have in religion. I think it? you're right. It, it's very uh, very pertinent to our, uh, to our yes. situations today that we run into. Yeah. You would think that no one today yeah. uh, who wants to embrace Christ would be trying to <laughs> cling on to the law or parts of the law or whatever it is. Yeah, but in fact, that still goes on, and it's very unfortunate. It's, it is. Uh, it's... Uh, Yes. Uh, very uh, uh, unproductive, unhelpful, it is. harmful to our right. faith. Right. It's it's just uh, damaging. Yes. People can't even worship together because you must yes. worship on yes. on the Sabbath day. That's right. So uh, you know, so we can we can't even worship right. together anymore. For goodness' sake! And I'm sure you've it's thought ridiculous. The fact that we divide ourselves into denominations immunizes ourselves, inoculates us mm. against the awful fact yes, yes. that we're divided. That's, that's you right. know, we don't know what they're doing down the road. That's they're calling right. themselves Christian. That's right. We go into d different that's denominations, right. and Paul's words are ringing in our ears. I wish above all things, 1 Corinthians 1, that you all say the same thing. On my land, yes. That you all be divided into 30,000. I don't no, think so. No, no, no. There is right. a community of judgment that shows where the truth is. The yeah. faith wants to live it to the saints. None of us has it perfect. I'm that's, fully aware of that. I think that's but we're not doing very well when we're all meeting in different houses of worship. Surely we can do better than that. I think we can. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. That's our hope.